And out of the shorts. We had time for more mixed martial arts action. This one should be an absolute corker. Joey the Butcher Lira takes on Daniel the Little Devil Lima. So Lira versus Lima, Hammer. How Lira confusing is that going to be? <laughs> well, here uh, again is a Australia versus America matchup. Australia Brazil versus America matchup. But uh, Joe Lira, there he is. He's loving it. As he strips off ringside, about to make his way into centre ring. Lira from the United States has made the trip over. And uh, he'll be taking on one of the favourites of the MMA, Australian MMA circuit, Daniel Lima. So, a strange looking cat hammer, isn't he? Uh, he's loving it ringside. He's loving the MMA fighting. And uh, from what I've been told, the Butcher is uh, not a bad little fighter. The Butcher, Joey Lira. Set to take on one of the real stars of Australian mixed martial arts, Daniel the Little Devil Lima. He's, He's a flag. gun hammer. He's an absolute gun. Waves the flag and then puts it aside. Look at the arrogance on him, hammer. The makes strut. It, makes his way. He knows he's king of the ring, so to speak. Am I allowed to say that? Is that copyrighted by uh, any organisations? He's king of the ring, Lima. A little peacock hammer. Trying <laughs> to set the ring. Little pocket dynamo. They love him ringside. Daniel Lima! Australia versus the US of A. There's uh, Lima. Stripping off in the red corner. Dave Ella. Weighing in last night at 60. Love Biden, isn't it, Cameron? It's actually a tattoo of the team. Sacrifice. Arizona, US of A. No tribal stuff for him. Trained by Jeremiah Navarro with a fight record. Four fights. Four wins, four, four. four by the way of knockout. Showing the Butcher. The Butcher. Team Sacrifice. Interesting name there, Hammer for Jim. Bit of paintwork on it. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of artwork, body art. The lips, has got the heart. What's going on there? Self-trained with a fight record of six fights and three wins. The little devil, Hammer. There he is. The little, little devil. The Piccolo Diablo. Daniel Lima. Oh, have a listen to the crowd. They love him. They love the little Lima. Absolute gun, folks. You do not want to miss this one. Don't blink. You've got to go to the toilet. Don't go. Right Cross your legs very hard. Don't really? make that cup of coffee. Wait. Really? I was just about to get up to the... <laughs> Wait. Five minute round. Go to the toilet and make a cup of coffee. Tie a knot and hammer. We've got to see this one. <laughs> Daniel Lima the and Joey the Butcher Lira. I'm not going to freeze it and pull him in. Do you understand? If it gets too close to the edge, I will stop it, though. Action all the time. There's no action, I'll break it up. Touch close. Yeah, you don't have to tell him. Daniel Lima, action all action the time. But the, certainly... Action is his middle name. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, it's Andre, but <laughs> action will do just as well. <laughs> Hide and reach advantage going the way of the butcher. Ready? Big hello to uh, Br the Butcher Zanchetta. The original butcher. The original butcher Zanchetta. <laughs> mate, how are you doing? Outside fire kick there from Lima in the black. The Aussie. Joe Lira. The American. Oh. Right, right hand there from Lima. Will it go to ground? Or will they stand and trade? Oops. Hook there from Lira. Well, Lira, eager to get it on. Showing Lima no respect whatsoever. Just walking up and uh, letting go with some punches as well. Oh, big overhand right there from the little devil. Shoots in. Trying to take down Lira. No go yet. Drives a knee into the bread basket. Belly button through the back. Right. And work, Cam fellas. Quinn says to them, boys, you've got right. to keep the action flowing. Cam Quinn dead intent on keeping these men busy. <laughs> nice forearm guard there against the jab two combination from Lira. Lima swung with the outside thigh kick. Didn't connect for it. Who's gone the shoot here yet? Maybe for a waist takedown or a double leg takedown. I figure that Lima is going to want to go to ground with this one. He's very confident on the ground. A beautiful takedown. Oh, almost put him through the canvas. Side mount here from Lima. The headlock's applied by Lira underneath. It's smart tactics from uh, Lima to go to ground. 
Lima, five foot three inches. Joey Lira. He's going to take the arm hammer. Five he's going to take the arm. Have a look at it. He's defending it. He's defending it. It's uh, like a little crab. Just <laughs> waiting. Have a little crab on the side mount. All he's going to do is pull the arm back. Goes the mount position now. He might try and go for a guillotine here, as we saw in an earlier fight. So he could go for some ground and pound. He's in the mount position. He's trying to bridge and get uh, some leverage on the hand strikes. But uh, Lira covering. He's going to give him his back hammer. If he gives him his back, it'll be all over. Lira in some trouble here. You don't want to be on the bottom of the mount position. And Lira. Work, work, work. About to get his bald head slapped by the, by the rapid fire hand combinations of uh, Daniel Lima. Slap so hard he'll grow hair back, Hammer. <laughs> mount position here is still by Lima. This is a very good position. Have a look how tight he is in there. There is nothing that Lira can do. He is in a lot of bother. And Lima has options. He can go for a guillotine. He can swing to the side, lever an arm, and go for an arm bar. Trying to push his, his head back, give himself some leverage, Daniel Lima. But the Lira is, uh, is very aware of the tactics that are going to be employed by Lima, so he's negating him nicely. And, uh, this is something different, I suppose, from a, a ring sports perspective for us, seeing the uh, MMA, the ground and pound. The close in groundwork, great right camera angle. The knee is up, the armbar is coming once the knee's up. It's a leverage move, he goes for a bit of ground and pound. He'll try and soften up Lira. If that knee goes up again, Lira's got to be careful with his arms. Oh, big right hand. Big right hand. Almost putting, he's almost going for a little sneaky thumb in the eye there. Lima. Smothering across the face so that Lira can't see the attack coming. Oh, big right hand. Again from Lima. He'll be breathing through the back of his head after that one. Lira takes another shot. And look how front forward, how up far on the body Lima is. That's where you want to be in the mount position because you can just hammer off to the head. And now he's going to get that left arm. Now he'll get the left arm. The ropes are behind him. It could be a bit awkward to go for the arm bar here. There he is, got the left arm. He's got it. He's got it. Can he hyperextend the arm? Can he lever it? trouble here he's cut as well if he extends that arm it's all over Lira trying to get out of there Daniel Lima is going to get the arm bar he's got it almost full extension he's got it now the hooks are in he's got it Lira fighting his way out of there he's going to pop the arm it's all over beautiful stuff reverse arm bar from Daniel Lima the little devil Wow, that was awesome, Alan. Well, I tell you what, uh, Daniel Lima, with all the right moves down on the ground, but uh, take nothing away from uh, Joe the Butcher, Lira, the American. He uh, negated nicely. It was a real chess game on the ground. And uh, Lira did well for himself to survive as long as he did because uh, I tell you what, a lesser fighter would have certainly been submitted earlier. That's what it's all about when it gets down on the ground. It's a real chess game. And uh, move for move, shot for shot. He's guarding, he's not panicking down there, uh, Lira, and uh, still maintained his composure. In the stand-up, they shot some high knees. There you see the beautiful takedown by uh, Daniel Lima. Little pocket dynamo, and uh, certainly with uh, good crowd support here, rose to the occasion and brought on the victory. Reverse armbar style, beautifully done. There it is, called off. The American wanted out of there, didn't want any more, but uh, still put up a good fight. There is more Daniel. MMA to come, folks. We're going to see the phenom Hector Lombard from Melbourne. Oh, <laughs> the Hector! The phenom is coming in just a moment, Hammer. All aboard the Hector train. Already, all aboard the Lombard Express. It's all official there. Daniel Lima, winner by submission, reverse armbar, as we said, in fine, fine style. And if you thought that was good, just hang out for Hector Lombard coming your way very, very soon. A little devil certainly going places in MMA. I might try and get a bit of a chat with both of our fighters. I just want to say thanks to the promoters and all the fans here. It was a pleasure fighting here in honor of Fight Lima. Um, I usually fight at 155 pounds. I dropped a lot of weight for this fight. And I'll, I'll fight anybody here in Australia. I love being here. And thank you guys. Joe Lira, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our winner tonight, Daniel Little Devil Lima!
Uh, thanks everyone. Okay, in special for Jason, has been training with me. Like you guys saw before, he did a also fight. Okay, thanks guys, thanks Jason. Thanks everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Lima.